Hello, I will give a high level introduction now on UWB item tracking. We are all sometimes looking for lost earbuds, charging cradles, keys or remote controls. Attaching a UWB tag, a UWB finder tag to those devices will make them findable in case the searched item is not already uh, fitted with UWB. Now, how does this work? First, there would be a pairing step where the UWB finder does its initial pairing with a mobile device Bluetooth LE, generating a pairing key. This key enables privacy and ensures that ranging only happens with a paired user. This pairing can, for instance, be done by tapping using an NFC and tag functionality. Then, when looking for an item, there is first a discovery phase. In number one here, the device is advertising its Bluetooth LE service ID, which makes it discoverable for all mobile devices. In number two, if the mobile device is in range, it discovers the advertised service ID. Based on the content, it determines if it is paired with this mobile device, checking the credentials. If the check on credentials is positive, UWB ranging is started in number three. Then in number four, ranging search is started by making sure that UWB find ranging is activated in the application. The UWB ranging session delivers information about the distance to the searched item in number five. And number six, of course, using UWB angle of arrival, the search direction can be determined, which narrows down the search area and is, of course, a good possibility for a better user experience. An ideal product for these use cases is NXP's Trimension SRO40 product. It's optimized for low power operation and reducing the need for external components. It's designed really for use in battery operated IoT devices like UWB trackers and tags. The pre-developed Vira Mag by NXP ensures interoperability and fast time to market. Trimension SRO40 can be integrated with Bluetooth Low Energy or other connectivity controllers in one device.